What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey man, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, you know who this is, it's your boy, it's your man, aka Low Rent, aka Mr. Warmack, I'm in the building, and what I want to do is I want to give you another video, I want to give you real life because it comes real fast, and today I want to talk about the DNC slave ship that you black folks like to love, you love so much, the DNC can do no wrong, no harm, etc, this, that, and the fifth, but here's my problem with the DNC, DNC and most of these liberal people pass liberal legislation that's at the detriment to black and brown and all minorities. Let me let me get at you. Prime example, welfare. Now, now I'm not saying all their programs, but a lot of their programs are designed to keep you dependent on the government. But let me let me get at it. Number one, welfare. Welfare was meant to be a crutch. And for some, for, for a lot of folks, it is a crutch, and I admire that in the folks. But what I can't stand is you got these people who want to use it as a lifestyle. Now, being a lifestyle, people want to live off of it. They want to keep the generational thing going with it. But me personally, a lot of these people need to be checked. Because, you know, we all know people, we all know, we have family members that are, uh, that are, or friends, or people we know that are riding the coattails. Now, I have no problem with riding the coattails, but let's put it this way. If you really need it, you should be using it. If you're able-bodied, you should be using it. But the, these, uh, the liberals and your DNC slave people want to keep you that way. They're going to keep you mindless dummies. Because first of all, there are programs on welfare that can help you get a job. They can help you get a loan. Or for, no, what's it? A, a one-time gift or whatever to buy a car. They can help you get a... Uh, they can help you get a uh, babysitting services. They can help you go to school. Stuff, stuff like that. But the fact is, a lot of people don't want to take advantage of it. Now let me tell you another thing. If you want to be in a Democratic Party... You got you gotta go with all you gotta go to get you gotta get go along to get along, especially with this all inclusive bullshit. They wanna say, well, we're all inclusive. Well, all inclusive is detrimental to the blacks and browns, because most blacks and browns, I'll say a majority of them, I'll say I'll say it's it's in the black and browns natural natural interest to be conservative. If you look at blacks and browns, they're religious, they're deeply religious. They are very conservative. Now, money-wise, they want to throw bottles in the air and all that other dumb shit. You know how they do. But overall, black people and Hispanic people and brown people, they are conservative by nature. So what does, what does your liberal handlers do? They bring in gay marriage. Now, people are going to say, oh, you're bashing gay marriage. I'm not bashing gay marriage. I'm comparing and I'm, pro I'm I'm bringing out facts here. I can see if I was just straight hating on them, but I could care less. I'm just bringing the hypocritical status of your liberal DNC to you. Now, if you look at gay marriage, and here's the here's the, here's the thing: it was all gay marriage. But where was you? Where were you folks at? Where, where were these where were these gay rights acts people at? Whenever your civil rights were being taken away from you, whenever your vote was getting taken away, or not get taken, it got took away. Whenever parts of the Civil Rights Act of 1965 got struck down in the, in the Supreme Court, where are all you guys marching at? There was few of us talking about it. Y'all don't want to listen. We were like, hey man, this ain't good. But at the end of the day, you know, a closed mouth, you know, doesn't get fed. And what's going to happen is, a lot of you folks are going to come November, you're going to be real surprised and shocked whenever your punk asses ain't can't vote. Then you're going to be wondering, why can't I vote? Well, you can't vote because you didn't stay up on your game. 
And I don't want to hear it down the road about, oh, I, we can't vote. I don't want to see none of these marches. I don't want to see your puppet ass Al Sharptons and, you know, and your Jesse Jacksons. If you holler, give me a dollar and all the other good stuff. I don't want to see none of this because you knew about this long before, but you don't want to do nothing. And like I said, the DNC, if you want, it has to be all inclusive. That's the DNC. That's how they get their votes, which I can't, I can't get mad at. That's how you run your game. But at, at the same time, the DNC, it's it's a detriment. Like most of their policies are not good for your well-being. But at the end of the day, you gotta live with the choices you make in life. And if you don't want to live with the choices, start getting more involved. Stop cooning and buffooning and uh, care more about it. Quit posting and have naked pictures on Facebook and know what the fuck you know the Supreme Court is doing to you. Know what your Congress is doing to you. Know what your president is doing to you. Know what your local government is doing to you. You know, it's just a fact of the matter. You know, people want to bitch, moan, and complain, but at the same time, when's the last time you see any of y'all making videos about, you know, even just making a video can get out and it can spread. You know, I'm, 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 you know, living proof. I started making cornball videos. People called on. They liked it. You know, I got other things stirring in the pot. You know, it's just a bad fact of the matter is I got out and I done the work myself. I did not get handouts to do this. I put in the work myself. And I still maintain my J-O-B, which works the shit out of me. We work, we're working, what, we're getting at least 50 hours a week. So that ain't no... People say, well, I got a job. I got a job, too. I just work around my schedule. You know, I have the family thing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's how much you want out of life. But, you know, people need to start getting more involved in life instead of just, you know, being in life. Like I said, with the DNC, you can't blindly follow these cocksuckers because a lot of times they don't have your best interests at heart. Now, what I'm saying is might be against me, but, hey, prove me wrong. So... At the end of the day, you know, Mr. Warnock was in the building.